everybody. This is Melanie Coco McCoy, and you're watching Coco Full of Grace TV. Well, today I have with me Selena Carrera. Hello, how you doing? And she's actually mm -hmm. a singer, so I'm going to ask her a couple of questions. And first of all, it was like a pleasure. I was looking forward to this all week. <laughs> I was so excited to meet with you. But definitely, I was listening to a couple of your tracks, and you have a new project coming out called The Wonder Years. Mm -hmm. So could you tell me a little bit about this upcoming project? Yeah, The Wonder Years is basically like a, uh, a compilation of like my <clears throat> first releases, okay. first recordings, freestyles, and kind of like the intimate settings of like the song process in the studio. Just to kind of, you know, throw out where I started, where we're at now, mm -hmm. before we start releasing the new music. So I'm excited to put that out there. No, it sounds dope, and I actually have heard a couple of tracks. Yes. Going Down, mm -hmm. Energy, Hands Up, and Hands Up makes me, you know, <laughs> hey. So, yeah. no, it's pretty dope. So, speaking of The Wonder Years, yeah. what made you choose the name The Wonder Years? Because, you know, you had that television show that came out in the 80s, The mm -hmm. Wonder Years. So, right. did that have any influence on it or not? Yeah, well, I definitely thought of the show because, you know, I'm an 80s baby. And when I think of Wonder Years, I just think about, like, the beginning, mm -hmm. old school back in the day. And that's how I really, um, I see, like, the mus the tracks that I'm putting on there, they're, like, from my beginning. They're not necessarily old school because, you know, it's only maybe, like, tracks from the late, the earliest 2008. Right. I'm not that old. <laughs> right, right, right. So, but um, as far as just, like with your musical growth like as an artist like i i grow like every two or three months just depending you know just right. what music i'm listening to what's happening in my life so at this point i just feel like i'm at a whole other stage and i, I really want to like put this music out because it's a part of me right right yeah. <laughs> So taking back and going back into the Wonder Years, yes. um, I saw a couple of the um, album artwork covers, and you know you were an adorable baby. <laughs> so is that your mom and your father? Mm -hmm. Okay, That's so my could mom, you tell dad. me a little bit about growing up? Yeah, how was that experience for you? Because you look like a very happy baby. <laughs> <laughs> I was like fresh out the wound. No, <laughs> but um, no, I had a I had a great childhood. My mom and dad are awesome. Like, my mother was, a, like, a dancer. She danced a lot. Like, my father, he was a Latin percussionist. Oh. They actually met at a club, and my mom says she fell for my dad because he was the only guy that could keep up with her oh, as far as dancing. Me. Right. That's, said, okay. <laughs> so, um, you know, growing up in that household was great. I have five siblings. Okay. Um, and their majority, all of them are, like, musicians, especially my brothers. So I would come home from school and, um, you know, I would have my dad, my brother, cousins, all in our basement, like, just going off Latin percussion. You have, like, timbales, congas, all kinds of instruments. And me and my mom would be upstairs, and she would be dancing, and I would be like, Mommy, like, I just want to do my work. Like, right, I didn't right. really appreciate it because I was so <laughs> right, young. It right. just sounded like noise. But as I grew up, it was just like, man, I'm so glad I had those moments. Like, you don't realize how it influences you until you're older. Right.
So, I guess, have, it seems like you came from a musical background. So, when did you decide, look, you know what? This music thing seems like it's a part of me. When was that defining moment for you? When did that happen for you? That happened for me um, when I was graduating high school. Like, actually, my first year of college um, is when I was just like, yeah, I, I can't do anything else. Like, not, not on a serious note, you know, not as a career choice. Right. And you went to Kappa, the School of Creative and Performing Arts of mm-hmm. Philadelphia. So how mm-hmm. is that for you overall? Because that's an exciting performance art school and visual arts school. So. Yeah, yeah. No, Kappa, Kappa probably changed my life. Um, before I went to Kappa, I was at the Gerard Academic Music Program. And, um, and then I got into Kappa. The only other school I got into was Southern High School, which is just like a, uh, a neighborhood school. Mm-hmm. So um, it just going to Kappa made my, my whole experience so much different. And I didn't realize it till my first year of college. And I was a communications major. And it was just nothing to do with music. Right. So if you can imagine, I had had over 10 years of school with music as a core. So to go, step outside of that, it was just like... It was like a whole new world. Yeah. It was, it was like, is this real life? Like Penn State? <laughs> like there's no music class? I, I didn't have <laughs> right, any of right. my curriculum. So at that point, it was just like, wow, you know, this is a lot bigger than I than I realized. And that's when I started. Get up, get up, get up and get out. So, I guess with that said, did you ever finish college or you just decided to just go off and just say, you know what, this is not for me? Because college isn't for everyone and that's just realistic and that's just being real. Yeah, so. Cosby. Um. <laughs> <laughs> that's, by the way, that's um, an insider for those of you. We just, got inside yeah, jokes, yeah. okay? <laughs> we might explain it a little bit later. Possibly. <laughs> um, no, I'm, I'm actually um, back finishing my uh, undergraduate now. I left in 2008 because I was I had just got signed to Columbia Sony. Oh, yeah, it was awesome. Um, but I feel like it was one of those things when uh, I was really excited and I was kind of caught up in like the uh, oh you know being signed dream. I wasn't really paying attention to things I should have been paying attention mm-hmm. to. So um, about a year later, I walked away from the label. We like we kind of parted ways in a positive note. Just because um, I just felt like it wasn't my best career choice at the time. Mm-hmm. And um, it's funny enough, though, because after I left the label, I was working right underneath um, the former VP of Atlantic on his production label. Mm-hmm. And then from there, I met Proz from the Fugees. And then from there, we like mm-hmm. were just on an international tour. And then I met Lauren Hill. And then I, I background sung for her for a little bit. So it was like... My career really took off once I left the mm-hmm. label, which is, you know, most people would think backwards. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, so I, I left school in 2008, and then I recently just went back uh, last year. Take a walk with me, baby. It may be better off this way. The sun is shining so we Don't you want to play with me? We can go over the track, down by the railroad. Just Funny finish. story. Um, I was actually listening to some of your songs, and for some reason, I was singing about Lauren Hill. So this <laughs> is kind of like okay, full that, circle, right? That's interesting. Yeah. So, okay, apart and aside from that, um, like you said, you parted ways from Columbia, but I guess it's the perfect time to ask you: Did you did that discourage you at all? Because sometimes when you you're doing you going into your dreams, sometimes there might be a halt, and you might just right. stop and say, "Look." do I really want to do this? Should I keep going or should I just stop? Right. So did that ever happen for you? It did happen. It's funny, like, um, 
I don't know. I have a very stubborn spirit. So once I like once I parted ways with Columbia, it was just like, all right, what's next? You know, I, like stopping wasn't even a, a thought in my mind because we had already got so far. You know what I mean? Um, for me, I feel like that defining moment was when I walked away from uh, the group Access I was in. Okay. It's uh, spelled A X I X S. And it was uh, headed by Pros from the Fugees, who's the founder of like Lauren Hill and Clef mm-hmm. or whatever. Um, we were going hard for a minute, <laughs> mm-hmm. and it was amazing. Like I love Pros for the experience and like the history, and you know we got to go to South Africa. Like we traveled all around the world singing, so it was like you know it was the dream. But um, it just came to a point when I really was deciding, like you know. Do I really believe in this music? Because it, it wasn't really my project. It was the group I was a part of. And um, I don't know. I just... I, not that my heart wasn't in it, because it was for a long time. But then it got to a point where it was just like, I, I don't know if my heart's in this anymore. I had a conversation with Praz. Like, you know, I felt like it was best that like maybe he advised me, if anything, from the future for my solo career. And actually... You know, long story short, it was after that point where I was just like, damn, like, you know, do I want to do this? Like, life's getting a little real. Mm-hmm. Things aren't going as, right. as far as I thought. Um, and I actually took a hiatus, like a little hiatus for a second, right. you know, right. just trying to clear my head. But um, I don't know, when you have gifts, you know what I mean? And, you, you know, from birth, it's kind of like if you don't use them, they're going to fade off. Very true. You know, Very true. and it might just alter your whole purpose. So, I mean, it's for me, it's like, you know, the ultimately the goal is, yeah, I want to be one of the biggest artists. I want my music to influence the world. I want to be able to do that sustainably um, as a, you know, performing recording artist. But if I could do that in other avenues, music psychology, you know, running a, a performing arts program as I'm doing music, I'm still doing what I love at the end of the day. Of course, definitely. Yeah.